This is Noel Tate from the rock band The Leader and Trapped in a World, the Howard the Duck podcast, and you're listening to Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks podcast. Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets, and our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luke of Parrot and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks podcast. I love Batman. <laughs> Where is that coming here? I hope he doesn't hear this episode. <laughs> All right, kids. Welcome back to another episode of We Are the Night. Uh, the Batman fight. <laughs> nice pilot, though. Anyway, I am Phil. Joining me as always, it is the terror of God and herself. It is. And as promised in De- December, way back in December, we have the better half of the Tomes of Evil podcast, <laughs> Mr. Justin the Owl Osgood. Hello, sir. Hello there. How are we? Good. We got the littered Thank half. Thank you for having me on. We got the littered half of Tomes of Evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait to hear this. Wait to hear this feedback, Willis. He, he deserved every second of it. Oh, oh, this is going to be good. I can already tell. We well, have to wait till the end of the episode for that, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I know Justin uh, requested to join us one week because you requested uh, requested an Alan Grant and Norm Brayfogle story, which we've already done a, yes. a few. So, is this one of your favorite teams? Is that is that why you requested this? Yeah, actually, this kind of when I started reading Batman, my my first Batman comic ever actually was um, Batman three ninety two. Mm. It was a town on the night, which was a Doug Minch story. It was um, where. Batman and Catwoman were just trying to have a date, and they kept running into all kinds of crazy trouble out in Gotham. It was great. Um, it's Batman. Sh- <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it was great. I remember Catwoman started out with her cat and nine tails, and she kept cutting off pieces of it to tie up the various people that they beat up that night. And at the end of it, she ended up with, like, nothing. Like, her whip was all gone. But um, shortly after that, I started collecting pretty regularly, and that was when Alan Grant and Norm Brayfogel were on. And I think it was the Mud Pack, to mm. be honest with you. I think that was what got me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was hooked after that, because, I mean, what a great team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got yeah you got me there, because yeah, cause that's pretty much when I started, like, an issue or two before that, so. Mm. Yeah, that's my era. Nice. Uh, I see yeah. a Moon Knight podcast in the back. Could you just blur your background? I'm sure there's a function somewhere here. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go there. We love the midnight. We love the midnight. <laughs> oh, great, Lilf. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to give Ray a taste of his own medicine now. I'm gonna have to go back and bleep every mention of Moon. Oh yes, yes, yeah. That's only fair. Yes, that's only fair. Next, I, I do have some Batman posters, so next time I'll put one of those up. <laughs> Gotta cover those you know, it's the shirt. I'm sure he's got his. He's either got a cape shirt on or a Batman shirt. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at Wolf in her uh, haunted uh, arcade. Come on, I, I love it. I love the haunted arcade. It, what? It's a rich person's basement. <laughs> 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 I'm going for you. He has arrested development in his mental capacity. Capacity. I'm just saying. Tell me, Bruce doesn't have an arcade room. Did, Tell me, I'll did, wait. Did you ever see that Big Bang Theory <laughs> episode? Put it there, but he has it. Okay. <laughs> did you ever see that Big Bang Theory episode where Billy Bob Thornton plays like the urologist to the stars, and he has like all these like arcade games in his basement, and like you know, like movie props and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those are the vibes, bro. Those are the vibes. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. So, should we jump into the uh, classic issues tonight? Talk, talk some great, great and brave Fogel. All right. So, yeah, I actually hadn't read these two issues because this oh, really? was back during the um, the flip flop where they flopped mm. creative teams, the two titles, and that was 
I got confused during that. I think I missed a bunch of issues or something, but I hadn't read either one of these, so it was nice. Yeah, I don't think they I don't think they ever made like a huge announcement about like flipping the teams. They just like did it all of a sudden. Mm. Can you imagine? They would never yeah. do that today th- these days. No. Like, Guess what? <laughs> that, uh, yeah. I mean, if they did that announcement a month in advance. I know. Oh yeah, Ben <laughs> Ben this had what? A two page ad in every comic for like what, like three months or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what happened? Rogel's are Okay. <laughs> How did you say that name? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's jump into this. All right. The first one, uh, Batman 460 from March 1991, Sisters in Arms Part 1. It's it's a man's world. <laughs> Sisters doing it for themselves. <laughs> uh, right, course, writer Alan Graham, penciler Norm Bravefogel, anchor Tim Sale. Uh mm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Colorist, Adrian Roy, letterer Todd Klein, editor Dennis O'Neill, and Lil's favorite, Kelly Puckett. Kelly Good old Puckett. Puckett with a P-H. Puckett! <laughs> Lil's is mad. Puckett with feeling. <laughs> Lil's is all mad that she didn't make that her alias. Seriously. The Puckmeister. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Catwoman interrupts a mugging, quickly taking out the muggers, but when the potential victims believe she's going to hurt them, she becomes angry and tells them to take a cab next time. The female victim... See you later, Bucky. You don't want to catch a cab, you might run into Chaz from time. <laughs> I love this part, too, where this woman gets all Karen with Selena, and she's like, why shouldn't we feel safe in our own city? That's uh, because you live in Gotham City, lady. If you want to feel safe, go to Metropolis. I know, basically. I know, but I mean, you know the Suicide Batman. Slums. I mean, you know the Joker and everyone else exists in this universe. It's like, yeah, why do you live in Gotham if you? Yeah, what's your incentive? The rich. I was going to say <laughs> tax is going to be like zero, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, she, the female victim wants to know why they can't walk in their own walk at night in their own city, to which Catwoman replies, not my problem, take it up with the mayor before swinging off. I love that. Great line. Good luck with the mayor. Just, <laughs> who's the mayor this week? Uh, who's Who hasn't who didn't get killed? They're always getting murdered. That's Was what it I said. Crawl it's, yet? Was it Mayor Crawl yet? I think it's like Mexico, man. They, uh, they, the mayor gets killed like every week and they gotta replace, you know. <laughs> the mayor's either corrupt or dead, so. <laughs> yeah, the least wanted job in Gotham City. The male victim is ashamed to be rescued by a woman, but he cheers up when he finds a bag of loot that Catwoman dropped. Batman, however, emerges from the shadows to take the bag from him and summons the police. <laughs> I mean, Catwoman isn't Catwoman like a master cat burglar? I mean, again, stuff happens, but I'm just like, yeah. I don't know. That just seems she's like... having an off night. Yeah. Uh, oh look, a sack of loot. <laughs> <laughs> a bag like of jewels. Uh, <laughs> uh, Batman's like, what's the joke? What's so funny? Uh, oh lord! Don't okay. know. All right, <laughs> all right. You're here live. You're here live, Justin. So you get to uh, see the uh, live eye roll. All right, watch, watch little face. Uh, Sarah <laughs> Essen is bewildered by Catwoman's behavior, and she <laughs> is up. <laughs> no, seriously. Why did you say that name? Watch that. Jim's other other wife. Come on, get, oh. get it together. <laughs> The stand-in <laughs> wife. Talking about the Gotham iteration, okay? <laughs> She's the decoy wife. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. And... Too soon. Well, it's been twenty years. It's not too soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little hellfires tap dancing on on Gwen Stacy. Phil gives Jerry the business every time. <laughs> oh, Jerry Conway, murder of Gwen Stacy. Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but Sarah Ellison is bewildered by Catwoman's behavior, and she is upset by Batman's presence and accepted position as a vigilante, and her boyfriend, Jim Gordon's recent bad health. Batman compliments her police work before leaving for a meeting with- All those cigarettes and cigars! Mm-hmm. We saw the ads in the comic and books. Coffee. You know, it's just a cop life. It's bad for you. Oh my god. <laughs> I, don't know if so- I don't know if someone was listening when we did that episode or what, but- 
I saw what was it on Twitter? Someone made a meme. It was the perfect meme. I think it was like the first part. The there was like two pictures put together. The first picture, I think it was a, from a pre-crisis issue. I don't know if it was like a Christmas one or something. But it's Batman giving Gordon a gift of a uh, pipe. Mm. And then the second picture is that ad saying Batman's friend isn't <laughs> on the street tonight. <laughs> He's in, you know that American Heart Association ad. He was an enabler. He was enabling Jim smoking habit bad. Oh, damn rich people like you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay. So yes, Batman compliments her police work before leaving for a meeting with Joe Potato about the white slave trade. I love this. Joe Potato. I think this, I think. Ooh, this, this is dated. I only remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know this would be called human trafficking now, but it's like yes, yeah. it, it, exactly. I know, I know. It, doesn't it seem a little? I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say racist, but it's like, oh, hey, we're gonna care now because it's white. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, everybody knows that. Everybody knows. That. Yeah. Get down to get down to the get down to the port, boys. They finally got, they finally picked up some blondes. Let's get let's get them. <laughs> You're canceled, Philip. You're not Charlie. You're <laughs> you, mean, you mean I can't say? I'm uncancelable. <laughs> See, I love an audience. Uh, all right. Catwoman returns to her apartment in Brideshead, where her roommate Arizona greets her. Mm. You know, she she needed a uh, she needed a stand-in for uh, Holly. You know, Holly. Yeah. She gets lonely out there with all those 500 cats, you know? She needs a, another companion. Well, she's like Batman. She likes those teenage... Uh, hu- oh, that doesn't just meow at her for food. I can relate. <laughs> Lil, dogs. Lil, she's like the Batman. She loves those teenage human shields. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shout out to her assistant from uh, Batman the Animated Series in the first episode. Like, that's oh, that's yeah. That's assistant <laughs> Definitely. Oh yeah. And Isis, yeah, Isis was great. Although she snitches on her in two seconds, she's like tells Batman, "Oh, she loves you, you know." He's like, "I'm the world's greatest detective, of course." He has followed it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rich and built, of course. Uh, Arizona can't understand why yeah, Selena stuffs in with the tube socks. So. <laughs> Batman, damn. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna get Justin to fall off his chair by the end of the night. Mark my words. Oh, both of you will. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot the prerequisite. This podcast is rated teen, sometimes teen plus. Teen. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Blue Chew. Please sponsor us. If it's good enough for Joe Rogan, it's good enough for me. What? That, that comes at the end. I'm trying to let everybody else fill in their bingo card. You know, that's that's right. I got a whole new mess of drops, uh, Justin. You can you can uh, hear the world premiere of some new drops too. Ooh, I oh, I love it because yeah, it's I Goth- love it. Remember, kids, it's Gotham City. Now you're gonna make Russell jealous. <laughs> hey, I know. Hey, kids, remember it's Gotham City. So don't pull it out unless you're gonna use it. That's true for guns <laughs> and penises. And I'm sober. What the hell, man? <laughs> I think you're. I think you're worse sober. <laughs> okay, so it is. Okay, so here I was worried about my drop page. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry to be all over the place, but since Justin is here, okay, I have a new Russell drop. So Justin, you ready for? A new oh, Russell okay, drop? yes. All right, all right. Here, let me turn the volume up. Everyone needs to hear this. All right, we gotta rub that one in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait! Oh. <laughs> and I have a few more for, with with uh, someone else you may be familiar with. It's not just for boys. No. <laughs> yeah. You're how you feel. Your old Philly podcast you got banned from. <laughs> Booty looks good all the time. Wrong drop at the wrong time. <laughs> I finished just to get touched by a white man with cornrows. I don't know what's going on. I finished just to get touched by a white man with cornrows. It had to have been about the Green Goblin. 
<laughs> I'm not judging. So there or you go. Justin Timberlake during that phase. So there you go, kids. You're too, there you go, kids. You're two hosts of uh, Trapped in a World. There you go, guys. I gave you a, yes, gave you a drop. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ice Nolan Russell. Uh, so we're talking Batman. That's who I issue. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, Arizona. That's who I love these stories from Gotham. Arizona can't understand why Selena would let her move in rent free, and Selena tells her she reminds her of someone else. Holly. <coughs> Selena then notices that she dropped her loot. Mm. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Uh, Batman. Give it away. Batman and Potato <laughs> go to investigate the Ellis Agency. Potato believes they are a front for the white slave trade, but Batman finds no evidence. Yeah, because they're just going to leave that paperwork laying around. Mm. But Potato was hired by a girl's parents to find a girl who went missing after the Ellis Agency hired her as a dancer, though, and mm. tracked down... Th- Not even a model? Oh, she's ugly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she's so ugly. I literally know these things. What you, yeah, she needs low lighting. What are you saying? What are you saying, Lil? She was uh, dancing during the day. Day, yeah, day shift. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that, that's that first shift dancer. Yeah. <laughs> she got up to dance after she was saving so, up for the BBL. So you got to do the first shift. She got up to dance yeah. after she put the uh, the uh, hot wings out on the uh, buffet. <laughs> the lunch crowd. The lunch crowd's <laughs> the roughest of all. Yeah. Uh, and he's tracked down three other families whose children have gone missing, too. Batman believes him, but what are they going to do about it? On the news, reporter Andy Weber claims that Catwoman attacked the mugging victim she rescued, and he asked psychologist Bill Perkins to psychoanalyze her. Sarah visits... What is it, J. Jonah Jameson? She's a menace, I tell ya! <laughs> She's a man-hater! <laughs> Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Ooh, Barracuda. <laughs> That's our demographic. I know our demographic. It'll win. It'll uh, Sarah visits Jim Gordon in his hospital room, and he warns her to stay away from Catwoman because she's dangerous. I know you're a cop, but so you're a, I know you're hey, a cop. Your boo. I, I get it. I know you're a cop, but you're a woman. <laughs> Uh, uh, Honestly, those are the vibes. Wouldn't you rather? I mean, Catwoman's really not a killer. Wouldn't you rather? Wouldn't he? Shouldn't he be like, yeah, go after Catwoman, so you stay away from like guys like the Joker. Yeah, don't don't go near. Go. You can go after Catwoman. Don't go after the Joker. Yeah, yeah. Keep it. Which that'll pay it. Which that'll pay it off. Unless you got a good joke. (laughs) 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 What? Uh, The joke's got to be killer. Oh. Selena and Arizona are watching Hi, the. Kona. Oh, fuck it, Kona. Selena and Arizona are watching the news broadcast, uh, and Selena is furious. Uh, all right, remember we said three ladies. Bruce Wayne goes to meet Vicky Vale outside the Gotham mm. Daily News. Oh come on, Vicky Vale. Fresh from, oh, she's fresh from buying up a uh, a neighborhood in Gotham City. What? Remember when Kim Basinger did that? Oh, uh, yeah. She she bought a town or somewhere. Oh look! Oh look! There's uh Mr. Noel Tate in the uh, comments. Hey Noel, my other half. Hey Noel. <laughs> hey Noel, the other name. half of the Velvet Drapes. <laughs> hey Noel, nice to see you. It's not just for boys. <laughs> hey, hey, no, hold Shut on. Man, for a woman. Oh, booty looks good all the time. <laughs> Giant size man thing. <laughs> well, we are talking about that one. Uh, yeah, it's a giant size man thing. <laughs> uh, my fetish is to get touched by a white man with cornrows. There you go. There you go. You wanted you wanted more drops, Noel. There you go. Careful what you wish for. Small size <laughs> duck thing. <laughs> you know, know how duck penis is <laughs> I know. He doesn't care what we say as long as we uh, plug trapped in a world. <laughs> he lives in a duck society. <laughs> the Howard the Duck Podcast.
Remember when you get to episode. No, yeah. Remember when you get to episode sixty nine and the duck nipples. Moles would like to join you. Uh, any true. Bruce Wayne goes to meet Vicky Vale outside the Gotham Daily News. She is she is triumphant over the success of her recent photo feature on Gotham's homeless population, and her editor has given her a new assignment: Catwoman. Mm. <laughs> She's welcome anytime. It's okay, Lilf, anytime you want to go on the uh, duck show. On that ducking show. That's you're... how you call me when the movie happens. <laughs> the movie, yes. Oh, you're talking Batman, I'm out. That's right. <laughs> oh, you're talking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, go yeah, go get your lips back on Ray's butt, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Noel. Yes. You boys are on this. Uh uh. Bruce thinks it's foolish of her to risk her life by accepting the job, but Vicky is unconcerned. Ah, oh, all the men are like, don't, be, don't play with She's that cow. Lois Lane confidence. Ah, uh, to know the heart. Everyone, <laughs> see, everyone gets attacked and everyone goes to that. Oh, play one array. Play one array. <laughs> <laughs> the hard oh, master. Ray. Good thing he's not going to hear this. I know. At least Ray won't hear this. The hard master. <laughs> Sex on the mind. <laughs> Exciting times to be a pimp. We are, talking, well, we are talking white slave trade. I was going to say, so. white slave trade, yes. <laughs> Exciting yes. times to be a pimp. Yeah, Batman will punch you, <laughs> yeah, Batman will punch you in the face. Can't leave me alone for two damn minutes. Hey, well. Alright, <laughs> Selena takes Arizona to the Gotham Gallery to check out their their exhi- yeah, Egyptian exhibit. Bruce and Vicky are also there, and Bruce expresses his concern about the Karnak cat display after Weber and Perkin practically dared Catwoman to steal it. The curator, Leo Landis, reassures him by explaining the security measures in place, not knowing that Selina is listening in. That night, Batman goes to investigate the Ellis Agency while Sarah stakes out the Gotham Gallery. Vicky is also there to, to catch a photo of Catwoman, which she manages as Catwoman runs across the rooftops above her. Leo Landis receives a phone call telling him that Catwoman will be here soon. The Karnak Cat is a trap. Landis wants to capture Catwoman and plans to leave with her within the hour. Mmm, a twist. Sounds <laughs> Somebody's requested. Uh, uh, somebody, somebody wants to re- well, not rescue her, but I don't know. Some. <laughs> all right. So, all right. What are thoughts on this first issue, uh, Justin? What, what what did you think of this? Since this was your first time around. I liked it, actually. I love the part where uh, Joe Potato got in the Batmobile and he got boosted out of the seat. I thought that was great. That was a, a good laugh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I liked I liked um, the art. It was nice to see a different inker for Norm Brayfogle, mm. so that was cool. Um, and it was cool to see Vicky Vale, because to be honest with you, I had almost forgotten about her in the comics. I think the last time I saw her was when she was in Russia. Mm. Um during that NKVD oh, story. That one, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys covered that one not too long ago, yeah. So I had almost forgotten about her. I was like, oh, Vicky Vale. She just bought up a neighborhood in Gotham. Yeah, she kind of like, she kind of like, uh, yeah, she, she kind of drops out of the books right before nightfall, and then she doesn't come back for like, mm. I think right before. Married with kids, she's off the table. <laughs> I was half expecting for them to kill her off during Nightfall. I was like, they're going to kill off a bunch of people, I bet. And I thought for sure she was going to be one of them. They were but... holding that in the back pocket for one day. Mm. One day when Tim Burton wanted to come back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could have did that in Bruce Wayne Murderer, but I mean, they didn't. It wasn't her. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, don't, I don't know if she has a degree. Maybe next time. I don't know if she has a degree of safety because she's in one of those movies or. Possibly. I mean. Look at the look at the current comics. They're bringing in Doctor Chase Meridian to work at Arkham. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doctor Chase Meridian. Yes. Wow. With her trench coat and everything. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You can, you can literally hear her uh, fake American accent. They're really doing a deep dive to bring us nerds back. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that is a deep dive. That's a hell of a deep dive. That's a deep dive into the shallow end. <laughs> Batman forever. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and a quarter of sad. No, I, I enjoyed the artwork the most. Yeah. On this issue, I love it. It feels very dynamic, and I like the focus on Catwoman, obviously. It's a very refreshing change of pace. Oh yeah, because they. I think. I think the last time we saw her was like back in 1990. Remember, there was that one issue story with Catman. Yes. And there was a tiger that was prowling around oh, yeah. eating people. I think that was the last time we saw her before this. I was trying to remember. Yep, Detective 612, because that's when the, that newscaster even mentions uh, her attacking that female reporter. Yep, that was that, was that story. Yep. <sighs> and she's still wearing that mouse suit, Lil. <laughs> I know. She looks like I a know. mouse in that gray suit. Don't remind Yeah, what what are our thoughts on this Catwoman costume, honestly? I think we said it last time when we talked about the Catwoman miniseries. It's, she looks like a mouse. Mm, I don't like it. No. I don't like it. I like the purple one that came later. Who, who the gloves liked? and all that. I want to know. Yeah. Was it to balance out his pointy ears or like what? What was it? I don't get it. Yeah. You it's know, ironically, they go back to form with this um, costume a little bit in DC Superhero Girls, the animated show. Mm. They kind of get mm. the reference point from this costume, and I don't know why. Mm. <laughs> this looks like something that teenage girls should be wearing, not Selena. <laughs> this looks like a, like a, a Catwoman costume you order off of Wish. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man. <laughs> you mean you mean a witch? It's cat slash Why woman. Most the female version. <laughs> cat slash yeah, woman. Cat hyphen woman. Yeah. It's like those. It's like those crappy Halloween costumes back in the day. It's just like the yeah, plastic mask and like the apron on the front that says cat woman on the front of it or something. Yeah. So bad. Uh. <laughs> All right. It gets better as a Catwoman fan. That's all I can yeah. say. I like the goggles, the costume, the best. But yeah, like Justin said, I like, then the purple one. Purple one is probably my second thing. Honestly, I like Batman the Animated Series costume. Wise. That is, that, really is mm. yeah. that is probably the, one of the best. Because yeah. it's not so sexual and it's more practical than like the, the face mask and everything. This feels, I don't know, more practical. That's where they got the mm-hmm. great costume, right? <laughs> no, yeah, the Animated Series. And it looks more feline. The costume yeah. looks more feline. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready she for the claws for climbing because she's a cat burglar and that's their special skill. Right. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? Yes. Yeah, right. let's do it. Batman four sixty one from April nineteen ninety one. Sisters in Arms Part Two. Ladies' Night. So drinks are half price. Okay, this lady. <laughs> and the men will complain. Oh. Burn. All right, again. The only reason why it's half price is because we're trying to lure you in, dummies. <laughs> <laughs> so you shut up and buy the drinks already. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, well. Shut up and just lay there. <laughs> Consensual. Uh. Don't go past me. <laughs> Superior puss. <laughs> hey, now. We were busy boning. <laughs> Stop it, Lil. You're going to kill Justin. <laughs> Alright, so of course, yeah, it's Alan Grant, Norm Brave, Vogel, Inker, Steve Mitchell this time. Uh, I believe, yeah, I think everyone else is the same, including Denny O'Neill and Kelly Puckett. The Puckmeister. <laughs> Puckmaster General. Alright, uh,. <laughs> Catwoman breaks into the Gotham Gallery, knocking out Sarah Essen's police officers as Vicky Vale gets it all on film. Batman and Joe Potato are st- <laughs> Batman and Joe Potato are staking out the Ellis Agency, waiting for evidence of their human trafficking before they strike. Because that's Batman, letter of the law. Mm. King of the stakeouts. Mm. Allegedly. Sitting there with coffee and donuts. <laughs> Vicky follows a mysterious. Not deputized anymore, so it doesn't hold up. I don't know what he's acting. I know. Again, that's why I said he's almost Mister by the book. Vicky follows a mysterious figure that she thinks might be another thief around the building. When Sarah pulls a gun on her, Vicky informs her that Catwoman is already there, and Sarah runs off to find her. With Vicky, oh, you're not gonna do it. What? Sarah's got a gun. (laughs) (sighs) Ah. Ah. That's an awfully big ride he's got there. In honor of Chris Evans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not another teen movie. 
Chris Evans can get it all day, every day. I'm, I'm about to get That's it. That's the only Marvel drop allowed. <laughs> sure. Uh, Catwoman reaches the gallery where she takes out the two guards. She begins to take care of the security measures on the Karnak cat. Oh, Lord. I think, uh, I think, uh, you know who That's is here. That's Russell. Little Queen of Mountain Dew, yeah. <laughs> My, live wire. The orange juice flavor. See, you summoned him with your Mountain Dew habit. <laughs> it's like a siren song. Mountain Dew on camera all year. I think you're right. See? Oh, what spell do you use to like conjure uh, Russell? So, uh, what, like a couple bottles of Mountain Dew and some uh, old like some form of nerd magic. Yes, yeah, so Mountain Dew <laughs> bottles and uh, old hobgoblin epi- uh, issues. Yes, always the hobgoblin issues. <laughs> it's still Batman. He'll be like, "Where's hobgoblin?" <laughs> hey, Russell, you still there? Lex Luthor and Joker had a baby. We gotta rub that one in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! Men from the Ellis, <clears throat> men from the Ellis agency begin to usher young women into a bus. Boy, love should have been a panel, a windowless panel van. But Batman stands mm. in front of the women. Yeah, night candy too on the nose. <laughs> but Next ba- thing you know, they have puppies in the back and candy. Well, that's how they get little. <laughs> puppies, alcohol, and funkas for little. <laughs> Oh wait, you have you have uh, Funkos from the new Batman movie already? Uh, no one else has those. <laughs> <laughs> They're also on pre-sale at Amazon. <laughs> and no way home Funkos. Oh, she she belly flops into that van. Uh, uh, Batman stands in front of the women and warns them that though he has no proof, he has suspicions that this agency is not all that it seems. Boy, you figure when they're all getting on the bus in the middle of the night. Uh, the women. Yeah, suspicious. nothing. Nothing to see here. You're yeah. going to a job. Hey, legitimate job. The tax purpose. Sleepaway camp. Sleepaway camp. <laughs> sure. Suck, suck. Independent contractor for tax purposes. <laughs> <laughs> The women become suspicious that the agency made all the travel arrangements itself and collected their passports, and they demand them back. Oh, that's the sign! Never give anyone your passport. Here you go, ladies. Here's your sign. The men try to push the women into the bus, but Batman fights them off. The leader of the men tries to escape, but he is stopped by Joe Potato, who intimidates him into revealing that his Gotham contact is Leo Londis. Batman races off in the Batmobile. Shouldn't these guys just have tried to run? You're still going to try to push those women on the bus with Batman standing right there? Mm. He'll blow up the bus with everybody on it. He don't care. I don't have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to save you. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> away your passport. You're the shallow end of the gene pool anyway. What, what are we missing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Russell. I don't, have, I don't have to save you. Uh, <laughs> Cat but, but what you should do is hang them from the bat plane or crush them in a recycler. <laughs> Bring back old Batman! <laughs> That's the Batman I love. Uh, <laughs> Swear to me! Hey, Russell. Vengeance! Eye for an eye, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Russell. My fetish is to get morning. touched by a white man with cornrows. Oh, you know at least one of them had a gold tooth. You know that. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> Uh. (laughs) don't pull it out unless you're going to use it that's true for guns and penises (laughs) what you don't like falafel okay (laughs) now he's in time did someone say cornrows yes right yes uh yes (sighs) noel said that (laughs) my fetish is to get touched by a white man with cornrows all right uh Catwoman successfully steals the Karnak cat, but she does not get far before she is stopped by Leo Londis and his guards. Londis tells her that a client of his has purchased her, and his guards go to grab her. She uses the Karnak cat. Oh, and... she ain't gonna like that. Mm mm. 
You don't tell a cat what to do. Mm. No. Especially not this one. No, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> this is the last issue that we just covered. <laughs> uh, Catwoman tries the uh, door, but neither she nor Sarah on the other side can open it. Catwoman looks through the peephole to see Sarah and Vicky, and she leaps over the guards to escape out through the roof. Sarah is there waiting for her, but Vicky's arrival distracts Sarah, and Catwoman whips the gun out of her hands. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Sarah kind of liked it, but we'll gloss right over that. <laughs> oh, my. She's like, am I attracted to this? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe I should go talk to Renee Montoya about my Torn <laughs> 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 uh, like between two lovers. He was Gordon. He's old as hell. He's got that must. No way. No, way. She's <laughs> oh, jeez, Russell. She's hiding the truth. She's hiding the truth. I've seen it before. Hey, hey, uh, uh, Will, be prepared to tell Russell to get out. Justin is a jack of owl trades. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, boot him, kick him. That's too dead. That's top level dad joke. Get out. <laughs> I don't want. I don't think he has kids in two. He's like, he's like the youngest of us, and he's yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. oh, that's a good Money one. Money business is contagious. Uh, all right. So, oh, come on, Lil. You're killing the mood here. The three women tussle, <laughs> and their fight is broken up when Lon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and their fight is broken up when Londis and his men Ooh, arrive. <laughs> With Raquel Welsh. Ooh, <laughs> cat <laughs> Alright, mark your bingo cards. Right, this is a Seinfeld podcast now. <laughs> mark your bingo cards. We made the Seinfeld reference. Uh, but their fight is broken up when Lawness and his men arrive and hold them at gunpoint, forcing them to walk back downstairs. Vicky pulls out her camera and Lawn to send his guards, stunning them with the flash, which allows Catwoman and Essen to disarm them. Lawn just tries to escape so, the... to say she set the... the, the to stun them? Uh, okay, Russell. Suck it, Russell. Oh! <laughs> uh, percentage, Lilith. <laughs> Suck it, Russell. <laughs> it's a pig man, Jerry. A pig man. <laughs> That's Russell. I see you. <laughs> I mean, in that for me, anything's possible. Yeah. Absolutely. Suck it, Russell. <laughs> Alright, uh, alright, uh, Londa, yeah, bah, bah, bah. but yeah, Londis tries to escape, but when he opens the door, an army of stray cats rushes in. Catwoman summoned them somehow, calling it a little trick she picked up from a friend of mine. <clears throat> You're one. I love that. <clears throat> You're one. I love that. Yes. Sick, sick em, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's on! <laughs> She runs away with the Karnak cat escaping off the roof while Sarah yells for her to come back. Batman arrives afterwards and he wonders if he missed something. Mm. Conveniently. You could say that. Let her and go. Russell, he's a professor, okay? It's Professor Page. Oh. <laughs> True. No, Russell, what is the best relationship Jim Gordon ever had? I was going to say we'll have to wait for... His hand, his mustache? Oh! What? I know this is the like one, Russell. Whoa. COPD. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, get out! See, if you're gonna go there, you're gonna make some kind of joke between, about GCPD, COPD. <laughs> so, come on, Russell. How long was Jim laid up in that hospital bed anyway? It wasn't too long. It was uh, I, at least 20 issues. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it feels like it was a while. <laughs> It was weird because it was it's like was it four or five. Um, it might have been something like that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. you know, it was not like modern comics where he would have been there a year and a half. Nah, nah. Mm. Yeah, they would have had cobwebs going off that mustache. No, oh. <laughs> they would have had to have ozone treatments. <laughs> Guess Russell. I get it. It has C O P in the acronym. I get it. If you have to explain your own joke, I just. <laughs> Yes, r- y- yes, Russell, if you have to explain it, it makes it so much funnier. <laughs> tomato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> <sighs> I love you. Ah! Sad love you, Russell. He gave, he gave you the Harry. 
Do, do you want to do you want to pity you laugh, Russell? It's <laughs> 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 the Mars laugh. Oh, I need that. Yeah, I need the full Mars laugh. I don't even have it. Uh, oh wait. Uh, wait. I made it. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go, Russell. <laughs> and that's being generous. All right. Uh, <laughs> Or we were rudely interrupted by a pad show. <laughs> well, thanks for interrupting us, Midwest. All right. Uh, in their apartment, Selena and Arizona watch the news. Andy Weber says that Sergeant SNS contacted Interpol to find the other victims of the trafficking ring and that Vicky Vale took pho- photographs of the action. He concludes by, noti- by noting that the Karnak cat cannot be sold on open auction, so Catwoman will likely have to sell it to a private collector for seven several million dollars. Selena smiles as she pets the head. Probably she's supposed to keep it for herself. So yeah, they ended they ended the bond way. She's petting the cat. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Justin, what did you think, what did you think of this thing? I liked what I liked this one better than the first part actually, mainly because of the part with the cats all running through Gotham City on their way over to this estate and then bursting through the door. I thought that was great. And the whole um honeymoon in Dubai thing was a kind of interesting twist. You know, this dude wanting to marry Selena just yeah, just because he could. I love that. That's that's so bizarre. And what a great thing for Alan Grant to throw in there, just randomly. Some guy wanting to marry Selena. I know, some guy just, like, put in an order. He has a Gigi Chester file, because that is actually a thing that at least used to happen, that they would, you know, purchase models. You know know how you have the male order rides over here? They kind of have it in the same way, only the girl doesn't know what they were getting into. Mm. Oh, yeah, the male order brides was a big thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm sure if you got Selena out of the country, she wouldn't put up a fight or anything. Okay. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know our girl like that. You I know? guess. That'd very, be a very brief plane flight. The harder the fight. <laughs> uh, so, we'll, we'll, what did you think, Will? Oh, it's, a, it's a solid two-parter. Um, definitely, obviously, the conclusion is the better of the issues, as almost always is the case. Uh, but no, I, I enjoy the story. It's very, I, like, I like it. Like, Selena's smart, and, you know, I just like when I remember that Catwoman is smart. And that she mm. doesn't need Batman. <laughs> yep. Oh, She's yeah. a sister doing it for herself. Mm, right. <laughs> She's very capable. She doesn't need a crew to back her up. Exactly. Although, if we're gonna do a crew, I don't mind the, the um, Gotham Siren. <laughs> I don't mind it at right. all. Although, since Poison Ivy kind of told Harley, hey, either you get to be back to being a a villain, or we can't be together. Like uh, that. Comics, yeah. I mean, was this oh, like the drama? I mean, was this an early attempt at that? Because I mean, this was a, at least a it was at least a year from this before Harley Quinn would become a thing in the animated series. So, mm. I don't even know if Montoya was in the yeah, comics. Harley yet. has her inspirations all over the the DC map. So. But definitely the Flash and Prank, so <laughs> I mean, not to get Benny in trouble or anything. <laughs> Everybody feels. I mean, everybody. we did, did even have Danny Elfman doing the Batman animated series score. I'm just saying. I'm just mm. saying. It's all in house. I did get True. an Emmy for it on the Flash original show. So it's all in house. All right. Yeah, of course. All right. Real quick, should we talk some uh, new comics? If we have to. All right. I, the old stuff's so much better. I know. No, <laughs> I know. I know. No offense to the current team. <laughs> We've been there, done that at this point several times. All right, real quick, then we can get to the rambling feedback. Uh, all right, so Lilith, Arkham City, what is that? Order of the World number four? What is going on? You, you asked the right question. What is that? The Ten-Eyed Man? Really? <laughs> We're just done! Well, no, they had another story about the Ten-Eyed Man. What was it, Urban Legends or a Black Label? One of the two, we had done the story already. So, I don't know if they're trying to tie back into that, but... I don't know, because it seems like, yeah, they're trying to bring back Nocturna, Ten-Eyed Man, uh... Ooh. Well, they're I trying like to get a new Dark, Justice, Dark Justice League back, I guess, without Constantine, for whatever reason. Yeah. But, that, yeah, it's so weird, because it's like, 
Justin, it's like, yeah, the you know, the Ten Eyed Man seems crazy, but he's like, if you lay a map of Arkham over Gotham, everything matches up, and you know, hmm. the ghost of Ar- Armadeus Arkham is, is of course, it's Gothic architecture. Everything has to be like a little pentagram and a goat, you know, goat horns. I believe it. And meanwhile, and meanwhile, all these old villains. Court are, of Owls. Yeah. That's not a satanic death cult. Please. Absolutely, they engineered all of that. And then, meanwhile, all these old villains are being hunted by Azrael, world's favorite. Ooh, it could be love, worse. I love Azrael. It could be that other guy from Fear State. Oh, Ghostmaker. Magistrate. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ghost. Oh, Ghostmaker. The uh, any mo- of them, really. <laughs> Ghostmaker, the uh, Moon <laughs> ripoff. Oh, is that what he's called, Ghostmaker? Yes. So, oh. so, so it's basically, yeah. Your your name is I kill people. Is that? I mean, yeah. No. Like, on the nose. I mean, I yeah, think so. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry, but go, but go with get the name Ghostmaker. I mean, you're 30 years too late with that. That's a 90s <laughs> name if I ever heard of one. Yeah, I like, absolutely. I, mean, I guess Danny Phantom was taken. So. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> so. But yeah, I don't. Uh, it's a shame because the Arkham brand, especially the video games and stuff, is such a strong, solid thing to play around with. But they are really not trying to do that, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, assault on Arkham, all those things. I think they should like make if the comic book has Arkham in it, it should be like in that universe, in that world. Yeah, and that would probably make the brand a little more solidified. And it's if that makes sense. And that Arkham is so, and like they're trying to, they're really trying to milk that now because I you mean, just never know what you're gonna get when you pick up an Arkham City book. Yeah. Well, well, then this week started that weekly Detective Comics run, uh, Shadows of the Bat, you know, with... <laughs> okay, Justin, Arkham Asylum's basically been destroyed, so wh- where are we going to build a new Arkham? In a skyscraper, so, you know, it can literally oh. be raining Mad Men, yes. Oh, yeah, excellent idea. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Mm. Dr. Chase Meridian, yeah. there, she's in there. Yeah. Do, do they build that next she's to a villain. children's hospital by any chance, <laughs> or... <laughs> it's Gotham, probably. Because yeah, that would be... That would be even better. Build it next to a children's hospital or, you know, cancer ward, it's something orphanage. like that. <laughs> and it seems like there's already a riot in there. Cause, and then next issue, next week, I guess they're going to explain, how did we get here? Because Batman's out of town. Everyone else yeah. is on the case. That's all right. We'll clean it up. Nightwing, remember? Nightwing is what, Will? Yes, better than Batman. Thank you. So I'm, I'm interested to see what they do there. All right. And, and the last one, Batman 119. Oh, good lord. So La- Lex Luthor is, uh, what kind of co-opted Batman Inc? Boo! Tomato, tomato, is, tomato. How is Batman Inc. is still going on? Batman Inc. to come back, and this is the thank you. I mean, yeah, they hadn't said anything about it, but now I guess they're still operating, what, I guess overseas or something, so. Oh. And I guess Lex knows Bruce is Batman. He's like, I know you lost most of your money. He's like, I can fund the whole thing, and, you know. Mysterious new benefactor. Who else was it gonna be? <laughs> It's not, 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 not Oliver. I know, and it's just like, you know, even the, like, the, like, flashback panel, they show, it's like, oh, hey, remember in New 52 when we tried to cram Lex into the Justice League? Or, hey, remember, what, a year or so ago when he was Apex Lex or whatever? Or, you know, it's just like, here, we're gonna try something else now! They're truly pulling Bat a Lex. from Elon Musk at this point, or Jeff Bezos. Well, hey, look, be. well, look, Clark is liter- is off planet, so Lex is literally bored. Mm. Yes! Rich men with their money! Yeah, that's whenever Superman's off planet, Lex gets up to some nonsense. And he and he's he must be drunk because what did he say to Bruce? He's like, "Oh, the world does. He says the world needs a Superman." I'm like, really? <laughs> wow. Well, that's his side boo anyway. We all know this. It's just like him and uh, Batman and Joker. That's his side boo. Yeah. He don't say nothing about it. Yeah. That's his side boo. I mean, they have a son together. For God's sake, come on. Oh. It'll always be canon in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> this one's actually a little more tolerable. I do like Lex. I like when he schemes. I like when he's separated from Superman because they actually don't know what to do with Lex in the Superman book. So when he gets to go to like say the Justice League and other things like that, you get to see a different, more yeah. schemy, more down to earth. Not ooh, I'm a billionaire businessman, you know, kind of thing. So I enjoy it. And what about it, that uh, villain Abyss? I mean, hey, man, he actually cut Bat God. So I mean, are are the days of Bat God over? Yeah, right. Just wait to. <laughs> New writers come along. Like these are new writers. They're trying something, you know, fresh yeah. and different. <laughs> yeah, they're you know, think... for the most part. So I like that. I do. Yeah, wasn't it? Josh? Do you believe? Why? Yes, you do. 
Oh my. But yeah, I think it was that Joshua Williamson. Yeah, he's been doing. Yeah, he he does some good work. He was on the Flash for a while and yeah. a few other things. Yeah, I'm glad to see some new blood on Batman. I think it was sorely needed to be honest, shake things up a bit. And like I said, Batman Eve, I'm still kind of here for. So. Yeah. Again, I can't wait. What is and that? It's like Batman used his darkness as a weapon. Is he the only one that can use it? No, <laughs> no. Unless he patented, then you know we got to be on court. <laughs> Uh, we'll That's get, a spider I was going to say, we'll get there tomorrow. All right. Uh, but and I, what is it? February or March? I can't wait for uh, Mark Wade's going to be writing Batman Superman, the Batman Superman book when it comes oh, back. Oh, yeah, finally. Yeah. It'll be great to have a uh, Mark back on there. Especially on something Superman. Yeah. Yeah. We were t- um, so are we going to talk about the elephant in the room? Like, everybody's like, oh, Morbius got moved. I'm like, Morbius ain't changing nothing. Not a thing. Nobody cares about Morbius. Nothing was hinging on Morbius. Batman's not changing his damn movie time again. No way. So, so you're calling it now? The Batman ba- shall come out on time this time. I was gonna say, so you're calling it? Batman's not moving. Who the hell is more? Like, I'm excited I know. for the movie. But come on, come on. What, 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 what? Regular just movie going fan is like, oh yeah, Morbius. Let's get it up for Morbius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sony doesn't need it. They have Into the Spider, um, Into the Spider Verse Part One. One coming out in the end of December. They're not banking on Morbius. That's why it was supposed to be out in January anyway. Now it's April first, your birthday, buddy. I know. That's what I was. Oh, is it April now? Yeah, April Mm first. The Morbius is coming out. Yeah, they moved it from January. April Fool's. It was never a movie. (laughs) (laughs) This is. We spent all this money on a trailer. (laughs) Literally, this is like the sixth or seventh date now for it, uh, Justin. Yeah, because it is. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, yeah, Lil, because it's like the Batman comes out the weekend of Luca's birthday, and then yeah, now Morbius is coming out on my birthday. So yeah, so I definitely think that Warner specifically needs that um, money for the second quarter to to you know to get the machine really churning and do their you know stockholder calling. Yeah, and they absolutely need that movie to come out when it comes out. What? The, and what? that's the beautiful thing about the Batman is that it doesn't actually affect the rest of the DCEU like that Aquaman and that. Oh. Shazam, Black Adam, whatever the hell else they got going on over there. Flash, supposedly. I don't know. Rumors are... That should be on April 1st. There was that for a movie. Waka, waka, waka. I, I, t- I don't know. What about those rumors that uh, that Flash movie is going to like kind of undo all that Snyderverse stuff, or at least a lot of it? Well, they have to, right? They're trying to do the whole... And excuse me for being a bad thing, is DCU, you know, with Wonder Woman and Batgirl and Super Supergirl. Yeah. 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 No thanks. <laughs> no offense, love the Elgin Dope, but um, I'm over her as Wonder Woman. I don't need to see another Wonder Woman movie. Sorry. Sorry. Next. Give well, me a TV show. Donna Troy. Next. There you go. That's what I said, man. Super I would, watch a, I would watch a Donna Troy. Goodbye. Anyway. Spin, spin, again. An Artemis show would be good too. Yeah, spin, spin, spin stuff out of that Titan series. R.I.P. Green on the Canaries. R.I.P. Exactly. I want to see that. But no, yeah, spin stuff out of that Titan series on uh, HBO Max. Spin a Nightwing show out of that. Well, spin it's not a... even that. I think Donna I don't Troy. Have anything spun from the CW stuff because obviously the CW show, the CW is getting sold in a hole. Yeah, CW's up for sale. Right. We'll talk about arcades this Friday. That shall be our topic of discussion. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm excited. So, like, Morbius, poor Morbius. I'm excited mm. for it, but, like, I'm, like, the last person. I said if they moved it one more time, I couldn't get excited about it, so... Not gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay. But the Batman, yes. I'm excited for that. I'm looking forward to that. I hope. I hope Only so I can stop talking about these three damn villains. <laughs> I can't. Phil, Phil picks very good issues. He does. But I'm tired of a theme. <laughs> All right. All right. Did you guys cover the the Showcase '93 Catwoman story? No, 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 no. I don't even think I have that on the list. I knew, I do know I have like the first arc of that early 2000 series, you know, like when she first gets the costume with the goggles and stuff. I have that on. Mm. I think that a brew bait is that, was that brew baker? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there was a great, I think it was a six yeah, part story in uh, showcase where Selena, I think it was, yeah, it was showcase 93. I think and it was basically Selena going up against this nasty gang boss. It was really good. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I love mob ties, Selena, by the way. It's my favorite thing. Mm. 
All right. So, so yeah. So, Lilith, when I add extra Catwoman stuff to the schedule, like if we have a couple, like two, two maybe two different arcs on an episode, and you say, why are we doing all these? I'll be like, because Justin told me to. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Hey, he's a patron, man. You know, we love, we love he can make, He's a patron. He can make <laughs> That's hey, hey, kids, hey, subscribe to the Patreon. You can boss us around. <laughs> oh, oh, while we're here, what do you think is the worst superhero movie ever to be made from 1978 to 2021? <laughs> I think it's tough because that Fantastic Four one mm-hmm. is that's legendary a, in on its the wildness. List. Yes. Um, I was I was so disappointed by Captain Marvel, but I didn't dislike it. I was just underwhelmed by it, if that makes sense. And it was the first MCU movie that I've fallen asleep during. Um, yeah, I would have to say probably Fantastic Four. I think that's the worst one. You well, know, that Fantastic Four one. Well, I, know. I was going to say, he's a subscriber to our Patreon. Don't He'll find out by the you end of the year. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I just I can't think of I can't think of a bigger waste of money out of the list that that you guys came up with than that Steel. one. Like just from the beginning to the end of it, like how many millions of dollars went into this, and they could have yeah. done anything else. But they could have done a Squirrel Girl movie with that money, and you it would have been a million times better. Oh yeah, they could have done a new it's Warriors a movie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would have loved to have seen a, a Dark Hawk movie over oh, that, over that oh, Fantastic nice. Four 2015. The yin to the Dark Hawk's yang. Copyright. It has really ruined movies for the most part, especially superhero movies. They've got to keep it. they got to keep it turning. Mm-hmm. Looking at you, Spider-Man. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Kentucky chiming in. Sleepwalker. <laughs> uh, I'm writing a Sleepwalker movie. No, ooh. I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. I was gonna say, unfortunately, it's on brand, but I mean, I'm sure they didn't spend as much as Fantastic Four, but that Halle Berry Catwoman movie. Oh yeah, but I have. I know it's not even Selena Kyle. Yeah, but I have to say though, I laughed really hard at the Catwoman, the the um, Halle Berry Catwoman movie. That for some reason, the fight scene where her and Sharon Stone were beating the hell out of but out of each other with pipes and stuff. I rewound that about ten times because I was laughing <laughs> hysterically at that. It's okay, we're friends here. You can admit it. <laughs> same, buddy. Same. <laughs> well, the, the thing that sends me every time about the Catwoman movie is that basketball scene with her and Benjamin Pratt. Oh. Every time, so I just lose it. Yeah. That's really good too. I think I rewound that a couple of times as well. That had to get backed up. Yeah. His- so for for me, Catwoman is entertaining because it makes me laugh. You know, it's 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 a train wreck, but it's there's at least a little bit of entertainment that you can get out of it. I didn't laugh once during Fantastic Four. <laughs> I did it, do baby do. That made that sent me absolutely spun back into my chair. I'm like, this is who they want me to. I love Doom. The hacker. What the hell is this? A hacker. I've I've older than Doom. Oh no, baby. Oh no. It's gonna happen more and more to you, Lil. <clears throat> I know. Oh my god! And then Sue gets powers, and she wasn't even there. It's like really. She's just that fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's Mrs. Fantastic. He's the Invisible Man. Oh, Mr. Invisible, because you know, universe. <laughs> <laughs> Mark my words, it'll happen. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Before we go, like I said, I have some random nonsense that someone sent in for Justin. So, uh, I'm. I'm that. Oh God. <laughs> What did he say? Doctor Doom 3 PO? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Here, here, uh, here. Acronyms alone. Here, Russell. Someone sent in feedback. You might want to hear listen to this. Alright. Oh, okay. Again, this is... Somebody sent this in. Has nothing to do with the Batman issue, so... Justin. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> what has... Two arms, two legs, two eyes, 
and is crank calling you on the Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks podcast. <laughs> the Green Goblin! Ah! Talk about corner. And I have a friend here <laughs> with me who wants to speak with you. <laughs> ah! Lilith stole my pee pee! Justin, <laughs> this is Man Mountain Marco. And I just want all of you out there, Phil, Lilith, this is Justin, voice. Capes and Lunatics fans to know I love the... Uh... Oh, and uh, <laughs> Ray, Ray, oh, Ray, can you hear me, Ray's Ronaldo? Not hear Ray's not going to hear this. Ronaldo Geraldo Riviera. Hello, Frisco. I have a little message for you as well. Batman. Batman. (laughs) Batman. How does it make you feel that Phil has almost more appearances on Tomes of Evil than you? Ooh. You're slacking. It must be the old age getting to you, sausage boy. Can you feel it deep within your yoga nuggets? Or perhaps you're feeling wild like an animal. <laughs> Where's the Joker nuggets? Batman, Batman, Batman. We gotta rub that one in. <laughs> oh my god. So... See what you inspired, oh, Justin. You thank you for that, that Russell. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that dose of mayhem, you Russell. Send it to him, no contact. <laughs> I know. He's like, he's like, here's some feedback. It has nothing to do with the Batman issues. <laughs> You're like, happy birthday, Ray. <laughs> oh, oh, I will. I said, yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, here. You know what? The, the sad part is Ray won't even care as long as, like, well, except for that part where. Uh, Russell's rubbing in that Batman thing, but besides that, he ain't gonna care. Mm. You gotta rub that one in. You're like, hey, just slide me out to this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you, can, 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 can you film me? <laughs> can you film yourself and send it to me when you listen to this? <laughs> I love Batman. Yeah, on oh, oh, that's right. Scarlet Pimp episode. Yes. Exciting times to be a pimp. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. That's a good opportunity, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Dave Dave Finn will be there, too. Oh, <laughs> Just embarrass the poor lad in front of everyone he knows. It's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's true. A couple of balls down the gob. Thank you, Russell. We still beat you. You're doing the Joker's work, sir. <laughs> All right, so that was everything but the kitchen sink. So are we done here? Well, Phil, you haven't played you haven't fi- played my favorite uh, Lilith drop yet. Oh, which one is that? Oh, remember, um, scream at you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's like the, I I was like I I'm glad you like it, but I'm just like man, that's a tame one compared to a lot of the other ones. <laughs> scream it! <I> don't know. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Am I supposed to get my medicine soon? <laughs> I've already drank the Mountain Dew. It interacts with caffeine. <laughs> Go ahead, throw it in. The first time I heard "scream it," I just about died. I was in. I was at lunch break, and people were like, "What are you laughing about in there?" <laughs> like, it, I. Story. You wouldn't understand. I do that too, and I feel bad, and I'm like, oh, oh my god, my own show's making me crack up, you know. <laughs> Smash it! No, I have Phil so well trained. I don't even have to be around. He just sees the number 69. He's like, hell. I know. I'll I, I count a work. I'll be like 67, 68, Lilith, 70, 71. <laughs> it's wintering time. All right. <laughs> All right, so all right, so I was gonna say, let's get out of here first of all. Thank you, Justin, for joining us. Uh, this well, thanks is, for having me this, on. This has been great, and as you see, yes. you, you inspired feedback from uh, you know Russell got off his ass and sent <laughs> some feedback. So 
Rolled out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right. Before I do our plugs, uh, Justin, where can uh, people uh, hear you podcasting with uh, the, the heart of uh, Kentucky over there? <laughs> Tomes of Evil Pod, where it can be found on t- on Twitter. And this month, as you guys know, we're covering um, Devil's Reign. Yes. So we'll be doing, I think, three issues. We'll be doing um, X-Men featuring Emma Frost, Winter Soldier, Ooh. and... Part of the crossover, that's right. I've already forgotten the third one. That's bad. Is it another but, winter thing? You know, Emma Frost, Winter Soldier. Oh, Winter Soldier. no. Um, Hold on. I, I have the schedule here. Oh, somewhere. it's it's Villains for Hire. That's what it was. Villains for yes. Hire. Ooh, that's yes. 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 So I'm really excited for those three. Um, yes. They're part, then, of, they're part of the crossover with us and Ray's shows, Lil Fa. Yes. They, they wanted Superior 4, and I was like, no, 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 no. You know who's getting. No, I read the DMs. Yeah, eventually. Uh, no, I was going to say, no, you know, you know who's getting <laughs> Superior 4. <laughs> <laughs> the, yes, the, I'm so, I was gonna say I'm surprised we don't have a Doctor a Doctor Octopus uh, podcast. He's so in love with Otto. <laughs> We're doing me now. <laughs> I don't think he could talk miles into it. Uh, he could do anything. <laughs> I'm uncancelable. Uh, Everyone loves cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Forget miles, I'll be talking about. Oh, and, the, and besides Tomes of Evil, you are every so often you're on. Uh, some little show called Into the Night. <gasps> mm. The Moon Knight the. Podcast. The only Moon, po- Moon Knight mm-hmm. podcast that counts. The, the original. <laughs> the original, the as it were. Yes. Yes. I'm uh, a frequent contributor. Yeah. That's what we should do. We should cut a new opening right now with the three of us. It's like, you're listening to Into the Night, the original Moon Knight podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The original. <laughs> yes. I like that. You know, because Ray likes he's been around for years. Because Ray likes it long. Because Ray likes it, Minchie. Oh. And Ray likes it long. <laughs> oh, but it's Batman. I like Minchie. I like that. Ray's not gonna <laughs> hear this. All right, all right. So yes, kids. Uh, again, if you want to hear from us, oh yeah, oh yeah, we're oh yeah, we're gonna do Batman again next week. I forgot. <laughs> more focused than you. What's going on here, Philip? Man, what kind of, what blend did you smoke tonight that you're more focused than I am? <laughs> the nice sativa. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Down in Florida, where it's legal, kids. And I have a card. Yeah, that glaucoma killed her. Uh, Alright. Sorry. Ki- oh, yes. Kids, next week, uh, we'll be back to the, it's the Riddler again. Legends of the Dark Knight, 185 through 189. The, the makeover issue, yeah. And then... He's gonna be a supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> nice montage. And then two weeks, Detective Comics 683 and 684. I believe it's another Catwoman. Yeah, we got a... Oh, yeah, I think we might have a bunch of Catwoman coming up. Uh, again, if I just said screw to some of the Penguin stuff. But yeah, so... <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean, it's just Colin Farrell playing the penguin. No big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although he does have his own HBO Max show, supposedly. So we're only, uh, yeah, so at this point, we're only like five episodes or so away from the movie, so. Fingers crossed they don't move it. I, I, think I thought you said they weren't going to move it. They need it on the, on they the need beginning the of the <laughs> I hope they don't move but it. Water I'm, is such I'm a ready for it. Clusterfuck that I don't know. True. All right, so yeah, kids, uh, send your thoughts. Again, you, as you heard at the end of this episode, anyone can send any thought that randomly pops into their head. So you can send those to capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember to follow We Are The Night, <gasps> the Batman podcast, <laughs> on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, you can find links to... Oh, join our uh, The Batman fan group on Facebook. Uh, find links to all the various social medias and Facebook groups for all the shows we do on the Capes and Lunatics, Capes and Lunatics, Sidekicks podcast. Uh, links to this YouTube channel. You know the voice, half of the Velvet Drapes, but d- uh, do you know what he looks like? No! So you can only catch that on our YouTube channel. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or smash it! <laughs> Okay, Babe Ruth, call out a drop. Smash it! Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Alright, ah. Uh, most, 
but but most importantly be like justin and become a patron please if you can please subscribe to the patreon uh every little bit helps but if you subscribe at least three or five dollars you get the exclusive content the creator interviews mr dg chichester is there every month uh like we were talking before the superhero movie brackets we're going to discover the worst superhero movie will it be fantastic four well it's got a good chance so find that or pick up your capes and lunatics and capes and lunatics sidekicks merchandise everything is at linktree l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash capes and lunatics and now oh everything is in the uh show notes yes youtube and the podcast well i know i know all right god help us all Lil hellfire where can people find you on the internet if you want to hang out with me on the interwebs and uh, discuss duck penises or whatever comes to your mind. <laughs> you know how duck penises work, On Twitter, right? at Will Hellfire, on Instagram, at Will Hellfire 69 And of course, on Instagram, Mason, making the spicy comments, at Will Hellfire 69 Duh. It's so salty. <laughs> Good for that release. <sighs> Superior puss. No. Oh! <laughs> Superior puss. <laughs> Talking about me is so natural for Ray. <laughs> Poor Ray, Ray. And again, oh, thank you. getting roasted. He doesn't even know. I it. know. And again, thank you for all the feedback and everything, Russell. Does Russell like it long? Does Russell like it hard? <laughs> Gave up the me! As we've learned. All right. Depends on the day. Russell, oh! We are all the dick jokes. Please give us a sponsorship. Uh, <laughs> Gotta make room. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us. And again, thank you, Justin. This was a hell yes, of an Thanks episode. for having me on. It was very fun. Just what we need. Someone to uh, provoke us. It's like, yeah, 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 guys. <laughs> more drops. More drops. <laughs> more penis jokes. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Blue Chew. If you don't sponsor us after this episode, I don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> we made we made we made fun of American penises and Australian. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Run. Uh, Noel's doing stuff with guys with cornrows. I don't know. Touching those pumpkin bombs. You know. I don't know. <laughs> Remember, trapped in a world, the, ha- the Howard the Dark podcast. Tomes of e- most importantly, <laughs> tomes of evil. Get yourself, get you can find Justin there every time. I don't know how he does it with uh, Russell every week, but he's a trooper. All right, come every back, week. come back next time. Same bad time. Same bad channel. We are the night. We are the night. The. the-